M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you the ATU in action on the Zygu X6200. And for those that do not know what an ATU is, it's an antenna tuner matcher. So antennas are meant to be cut at the right length so they match the frequency that you're transmitting on. Very often they're not the right length and the antenna tuner using its clever circuitry matches that for you. So first thing you want to do is choose the band you want to use. Okay, up and down. On the Zygu, you've got up and down here. And so we're gonna choose seven megahertz, which is also known as 40, 40 meters. Uh, and then we're gonna choose the mode. So you're talking upper sideband, lower sideband. You'll find that seven megahertz is on lower sideband. So we can press that. And it now says lower sideband here tuned to the frequency you want. I know that the conditions are bad in this room because we have this really bright LED light that causes so much local interference. And you will find that, that in your shack or at home, you'll think I've got really bad, a really bad signal here. And you'll think, you know, it's your antenna, but then you'll go out in the garden with your and same antenna and it will work perfect. So try that one out. Anyway, tuner. So see it's in white writing here. If I press the ATU button just here. Press it once, it's gone out. It's not on and it's not going to tune on, receive or transmit. As soon as you turn it on, it starts to do its work. And then when you hold it, now we're, uh, we're on a long wire here, 7 megahertz, power's very, very low, 0 0.5. And we're just going to go hold it down. And it starts to tune. And you can see here in transmit, it goes red here, which I think is a very cool idea, and green on receive. And it's literally that simple. And if you change bands, and you can transmit again. So turn the tuner on, transmit, and it will tune, and it actually, and it works really well. It tuned that one really quick, didn't it? I'm using a 49 to one ballon and a 66 foot length of wire, and it's only about six foot high. It's okay, you know, I use it mainly in Europe. When the conditions are amazing, it will pick up the USA. The nice thing about the X6200, it's pretty much a plug and go item. It's got a built-in battery, which is actually removable, which is very handy. As you can see, and it slips in very nice. It has an internal built-in microphone as well. Turn that back on. Like so, it does take, you know, a minute to boot up because it is ultimately a Linux computer. But there it goes. So you do have to be, it's not like turning on many of the older radios where they just come on instantly. We're waiting now patiently. But when it does come to life, because it's a Linux computer, it can do many, many functions easily. Your built-in microphone is hidden underneath the what we call the VFO here, and a built-in PTT, and then you've got a BNC antenna and connection there. So you you know it's it's, it's a it's a plug and go item, and that's the biggest appeal of a radio like this, which is eight watts. Bye for now, seven three. 